240 hertz technology is like coffee technology. It depends on who you're getting it from as to what you're going to get. Coffee's different depending on who makes it. So while you may have all of these beverages that are coffee, some of them are very sweet and sugary and mellow. Some are bitter and sharp. Some are very strong. And different people will like or dislike the coffee. So let's look at what Sony means when we talk about 240 hertz motion flow. The development of technology is really about improving the realism. When we look at this film by the Lumiere brothers, when this played in a theater and the terrain came up, people ran out of the room because they've never seen anything like this before. It was strange and they actually thought that something was going to hit them because that's what they were used to. And as you move along, every new enhancement makes things more and more realistic and more and more lifelike. And one of the problems is sometimes the technology gets blamed for things that are in the source. You often hear people talking about, oh, well, I see this image blur or I see this, this artifact. And it's often the case that it's in the source itself. If we look at this football game, this is a great example of, yeah, we don't really need a better frame rate. We can get what's happening here, but it looks strange now because we are used to a higher frame rate, higher resolution, color, stereo sound, all these kinds of things. And you notice if we pause it that you can see some people are sharp and some people are blurry. If we try and smooth this out and we actually have blurry images in the source, we are not going to solve the problem of having this, this looking like it's blurred. But with our motion flow technologies, we can really improve both what we call judder and blur. So looking at what judder is, is the process where there simply aren't enough frames. When something moves too far between each frame that you get a stuttery or judder motion to it. The more frames you add, the smoother it is. As well as I was showing before, is the blur that you're seeing on the screen in the source or actually the screen unable to, to make it? So one of the things that we do in motion flow, in addition to making extra frames to get rid of the judder, we do image blur reduction to make each one of those frames sharp. So let's have a look at, at how that works. These are the problems that we're solving. If you look at the first frame, we have judder, which gives us this ghosting effect, and blur, because the ball is, is spinning and moving. By adding extra frames and doing image blur reduction, we can get this nice crisp frame, which gives us the basis to create the best motion interpolation technology, motion flow 120 and 240. So we take the original frame one, every 60th of a second, sharpen both those frames, do the image processing to get them as good as we possibly can, and then in motion flow 120, we add a single frame in the middle. In motion flow 240, we take that process to the next level, and we add three frames in the middle, giving us clear, sharp pictures that are very smooth because we added frames, just like when we were looking at the cartoon. And this system works very well no matter what the content is because your algorithm has to deal with cartoons, 3D rendered graphics, live action pictures, live action pictures with computer graphics over it, and has to intelligently interpret everything. So it's not enough to just say, okay, we're making more frames because each one of those situations requires slightly different math to make sure you get a good result without artifacts. So looking at this a bit closer to see what the, the images are, when you go from the 60th of a second, you can see the judder and the blur. So regular 240 hertz, if we're just doing the extra frames, it will be smoother, but we'll still have this blurry image in there. So we reduce that image blur and we add frames in and we get this nice crisp soccer ball the other unique thing Sony does is dealing with 24p video differently. It has a different timing than 60 hertz. And so on MotionFlow 120, we actually add four brand new frames in to keep that original cadence. And in MotionFlow 240, we add an astonishing nine new frames to give you smooth, beautiful motion. It's not a gimmick. It looks so much better, so much more realistic, and so much more smooth. And because we always work from the original 24th of a second frame, whether it's coming over broadcast or Blu-ray, we will always give you a beautiful natural result. 
So the last point is, is what's different between what happens on LCD with motion interpolation and the 120 hertz and the 240 hertz, and what's done in plasmas with their 480 and 600 hertz subfield drives. It's important to keep in mind that they're not about making new frames in the plasma hertz. It's about how many times the screen is being refreshed a second. So the plasma technology will refresh each frame more times. So 10 times in a 60th of a second, the frame will be refreshed with the exact same content. This allows a reduction of flickering and motion artifacts, but it does not add those extra frames to give you the smoother motion. In the motion flow 240, the screen is refreshing 240 times a second, but each one of those refreshes is an entirely new frame. So that's motion flow 120 and 240 from Sony. It's important to remember all 240 and 120 are not the same. We use image blur reduction and our motion flow technology to ensure that we get smooth, beautiful pictures no matter what the content, cartoons, live action, 3D renders, all of that is rendered beautifully in Sony Motion Flow.